what's up you guys this is gonna be a quick tutorial just about hangouts and this thing called hangout toolbox I'll show you all in general it's it's one of those apps and if you don't know about hangouts then what are you doing watching this it's just a just video conferencing they got a great apps and hangout toolbox has this really fun app to play with that it has volume control it has lower thirds if you want to put a lower third underneath to name put images um, it has sound effects like soundboards if you want to do that anonymous which is retarded all and all get out get, like seriously get out anonymous and then there's a deface now we're going to talk about deface deface uh, it, 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 it puts on deface and it gives you a face and it goes in kind of goofy and it's fun when you're in a hangout to, to do stuff like this you know what I'm saying and the, the, the great feature of it is at the bottom you can put a URL there's a slider to um, change the size of whatever that image URL is and that's that you can put your own custom faces now I'm going to show you guys how you find and make custom faces first off you can um, download pictures of you know, the internet and then I'm going to show you how, how you take those and make sure that it's transparent around it so it'll fit right also if you don't know what want to do that you can always type in like I don't know cartoon let's go with cartoon face space add capital PNG for ping as ping file and those typically almost all the time has have an alpha, alpha channel which is transparent around them like this little char character right here let's see if we could add him weird looking thing now I know it's a PNG file because it says it's a PNG file and if it don't turn out to be something that has the alpha channel on it, we, I'll sh also show you with that one. Using, I'll be using Photoshop. I'll also show you a little bit on how to use it with GIMP. GIMP is free. Ph Photoshop is not free, though it does have. It's you can get it as low as nineteen dollars a month. I don't know if you knew that now, or you can try it for free. And there's lots of other programs. But first, you want to be able to have that. Um, Hangout toolbox, and this is how you get it right now. Normally, typically, you'd be in a in a Hangout, and you click Add App, and you see apps. When apps are brand new, like brand new to the point that they're not really out release yet, except that see Hangout toolbox is now in here for me for sure, but other people is not because I installed it. That's why. And this is how you install apps before the fact of them coming into the app store, so to speak. You find whoever made it. This guy made this app. He makes all kind of great apps. You should check them out. Um, you find the link, and you, the link's going to be in the description of the chat uh, underneath in the YouTube video. It's going to be on the web page that you're looking at anywhere. You, well, if you're looking at me, look below my face. You'll see the link. And what you do is you you got to click that link, and it jump put you into a hangout. But you now I'm already in a hangout, man. Obviously, I'm not signed in. But I'd have to be out of the hangout. So, as you can see, it seems I'm already in the hangout. It's not going to allow me. But if you're not in the hangout, it'll put you in a hangout and it'll just ask, do you want to give access to this program to install? You give access and it's done. You can leave the hangout and go into the, the other hangout you were just in and boom, there's your hangout toolbox. Now we've got those images. I'm going to go to Photoshop first and show you how to do it in Photoshop. So I, you can see I made a bunch of faces already. I'll go to the desktop and I'll click this little dude. Now you can see there's the transparency already there, already set for you. So that's what, that's why I was searching with the PNG file is going to help you out. You can save it and put it wherever you want. Um, but you got to get it on onto the internet. It has to be a URL. In order to put it in there, and I'll show you guys. There's a million ways to do that. You could either through Dropbox, you could put it in your public folder. Just drag or do it in your public folder, and you could right click on that Dropbox and you click Copy Public Link. And then you come right over here, Hangout Toolbox, and right where you go to paste it in, paste it on in, and click Turn it On. And here's the little dude. Oh, his face is small, but underneath there's a slider bigger and yeah you got that so that's how you do that that way say you don't have a Dropbox you don't like Dropbox then you're weird I don't understand why you don't like Dropbox to watching a video 
or let me be nicer and say you can go to um, imgur.com that's one website that you can go upload an image it gives you a, a place to um, a URL there's another one called image uh, shack photo bucket used to be image shack there's, there's tons of them out there tiny pick tiny pick dot com I don't know if it's still out there tiny pick you just upload or you can use your own servers but what we also have and we want to show you that we're going to continue to um, make more and more faces at the hangout collab website we got a, a faces section where you just click drop down there's famous faces comedic faces and we're just going to add them as we go cartoon characters I just started making these now trust me whenever you watch this video come see this page it's going to look different now you want to make your own but you know your picture is not transparent you you like you like Sonic cow or you, you like this weird gas mask thing so we're going to show you how to do it in these programs Photoshop it's going to make it big enough so all I see is his face there's, there's 15,000 ways to skin a cat in Photoshop so don't think that what the, the way I'm showing you is the way you have to do it but I will tell you that it's probably one of the best ways you can use the lasso tool and just you know start cutting out and while I'm sloppy as hell you can't do it like that this is the way that I say you should do it P for pen tool you open the pen tool and you can start and I like this one even more you just point click and and when you go to point and click again don't let go and you could move around and get your curvatures correct so it helps to do like that and watch how much faster you can get a better cut out in general don't worry about the hair too much just get into the main part of the hair especially when you first start to cut it out a picture do 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 yeah it could take some time especially if you have some main thing that's that's huge and got a lot of elaborate uh, curves in it but with, when it comes to this program using this to cut out faces you're just cutting out almost literal cir circles ovals and whatnot not any shapes that's kind of gonna kill you you don't have to be perfect with it the first time as well because this is the pencil we're making a path we're making a path by way look up at the top you can do shape path or pixels I have it on path oh, 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 oh. <laughs> backspacing if you ever if you ever lose your, your point you can go back to the last point you see there's a line next to that if you just click that it, just, it brings you back to that point now I have it selected and you go into the path window if you can't find it, it's down your paths I just got rid of it <laughs> paths and now you see the work that work path you just did if you control or command click that path it's going to select it now if you press M for the marquee tool any or any selection tools on CS6 only or above you have this redefine edge this just helps to get a little bit better de definition you click redefine edge and you could select between different backgrounds uh, to look at while you're trying to do it I usually pick black for situations like this you the contrast takes fade out and put sharpness feather gives fade back into it shift the edge will make it to where it's less or more and then there's smoothness that just kind of smooth things out and then there's a uh, smart radius that, that kind of smartly finds the radius and you know what I've never I never found it to be smart so a little bit of smoothness a little bit of feather a decent amount of contrast and shift edge down tends to be the best in my opinion and I shift that edge down a little too much but then now I'm going to output to a new layer with a layer mask okay uh, it makes in layers a whole nother layer I can take the bottom layer and delete it and another thing you're going to want to do let's zoom out a little bit I pressed C for crop you're going to want to crop it down to where it's like just the right size you don't want to cut anything off make it just the right size and then you save that with the checkerboard alpha, ch alpha in the background as whatever you want to save it as you know Simon Cow. I you know I spelled it douchebag's name was cookie whatever probably spelled it right anyway save it as a PNG file 
you put it wherever you need to put it online and you'll have it in there and I'll show you as an example that, that we what I just did worked so there's some account right there not, not right there but right here and if I'm mean, in my public Dropbox I'll just copy that link and go back and play with all these people in the chat room they're probably like I'm freaking crazy no, they already know I'm crazy, so it's okay. So I turned it on, and here's Simon. Hey, you can suck. I do not condone cursing for kids. Grown ups curse all the you want. Now, there's uh, other programs. There's lots of programs out there that you could cut things out. Um, and it's a one popular free one. I don't know why it's popular, it's really kind of um, cluttered. But it's called GIMP, and it's got a funny name. <laughs> works on Linux, Mac, PC, so you you got access to GIMP no matter who you are. No, yeah you do. Don't tell me you don't. Go get GIMP. If you don't want to pay for Photoshop and you don't know how to use Photoshop, well good luck with GIMP. Now this is GIMP. They have toolbars, whatever. It's a little weird, honestly. I'm going to just open up a picture. Actually, I don't even have a picture yet saved, so I'm going to go find a picture. And see, you can get GIMP from right here, and Photoshop from right here, and all those links are right below me, right below my face. Not right here, but even further now. Keep looking. It's fine. A picture. It doesn't even matter. Crazy face. I typed crazy face. I did not type that. And wow, here's some crazy faces. Click images and look, look what we got already. That's just insane. That's that's probably right up you guys' alley. I know what well, most of you are like. Oh God, yes! I just found the perfect guy. I want to cut him out. Well, save that image to your computer. And then you're gonna go into GIMP and you're gonna open that picture up. Or same thing as any other program. GIMP sucks though. <laughs> Sorry to tell y'all. It really does. It's just it's just a backwards way of doing things in a way. See how far it just zoomed me on in? See how far it just zoomed me on out? I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. It's crap. Alright, well, there's a, lots of ways, like the lasso tool. Like I said before. Um, but, I, but the tool that I, I found that I could use that works the best is called the paths tool. Create an edit path. Or press B. Same thing as the uh, pin tool in general. Cut it out. Da 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 da. And uh, whatever. I, I didn't finish it. It's the same thing. You cut it out and then you. Um, well, I guess I might as well finish it because you're going to need to know. Pretend I cut it out good. And then when you get to the last point, you can hold down the command or control. Or a shift. No, it's the command. Or control. First, you've got to be on this one. I just selected two. Great job, Lee. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I just screwed it up again. That is so awesome. See how, how awesome this program is? See, it says deleting. That might be just my problem with my wait, um, whack em. The stylus might just be a little messed up. Now, see, okay, when I get to the end, I hold command or control and click. <laughs> that's supposed to highlight the whole thing. Let's, let's hope to see that if it did. Recently closed the docs, my layer doc was closed. Cause that's what I need to see. Now if you come to this right here, which is the paths, you'll see the paths which are all combobulated and messed up. If you uh, right click on it, you can path to selection, subtract, you could do all kinds of different things with the path, but what we're going to do is path to selection. And you, you could also do it right here on this side, tool options right when you finish, makes the selection, and then you could simply go to select, invert, and then press delete. And what you have to do, 
as well as in, go select invert again and then when you do that you have your selection you're going to want to right click on that layer there's added alpha um, channel and if you click that and you go to the alpha channel you see an alpha channel but there's no it's not the right alpha channel you're going to want to right click and add alpha to selection and wow, that did not work either <laughs> oh you know what don't use this program if you know how to use the program then use it but I mean overall it's supposed to work this is a brand new version I haven't used so it's crap stick with Photoshop cut out Simon Macau's head and look stupid hope you enjoy this craziness because it's a, it's a blast next time you around hanging out go grab a guitar and put on a crazy face like this and play the guitar and watch yourself laugh at yourself like you're an idiot thanks for watching check out everything at hangoutcollab.com and yourmom.com and all these comms.com and yeah, in your face peace like a flower like a movie like a picture like a christmas tree like the way that you